All right, the sun is shining. We are at Montour uh, Junction Complex here. We're outside, Robbie. Is this the first day outside or is it? Uh, uh, second day we were out here yesterday as well. So uh, yeah, with Robbie Mertz. Robbie, um, you know, week and a half into uh, preseason, Riverhounds 2023 season. What is your assessment so far of how things are going? Uh, I think we've made a lot of progress in what has been, what, nine days of training in a, in a game in Columbus. Um, the group is hungry, young, and um, I think that lends itself to guys who are going to listen and try to apply what, what Bob is saying. And um, so I think that's why we've kind of made some strides early on. I think he's been overall pretty happy with how things have gone. And um, yeah, it's going to be a group that's going to work hard and hopefully gel together and work to uh, work for each other as well you know as the as the year goes on seems like just watching some of the drills today um, or you guys playing uh, kind of a whatever that was transition at the end drill, of transition yeah. drill <laughs> uh, with the goals back to back and you know working on playing the ball out and all that stuff I mean it just seems real competitive out there yeah and I, I like what we did there at the end because it's good it's a good preseason drill because it's lots of fitness but it also enables teams to attack towards goal and um, we're going to be a team that wants to participate in the build and try to play through teams, um, and that requires movement. But also, when you lose it, like you have to transition well. Um, so that was good, good all around. I think for a day like today is to get a little running in, but also work on uh, going towards goal. So how we physically? How are you holding up through the, the beginning? The, this you're laughing. I know you didn't play much, or you didn't play at all, really, in the, yeah. in the scrimmage, right? Yeah, I didn't play at all in Columbus. Um, I think <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, we've started to have conversations. I'm, on, I'm in year five, but uh, I have played over 100 games now in the USL and um, probably close to 100 more in college. So, you know, the minutes add up. Um, so, I, yeah, some people may consider me a veteran. I don't know. Others might not. Other, uh, others I, might I still think, think I'm young. You, you've but... <laughs> achieved that status as far as I'm concerned. But, so. yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good and, um, you know. It's nice to have this facility and be able to utilize the resources that are there for us um, to to stay healthy, stay fresh, uh, stay strong and fit as well. So, um, yeah, all in all, feeling feeling really good. Well, and it was a busy off season for you, um, I understand. Yeah. Uh, and you've put that out on some of your social media too. Congratulations, Thank you. Um, getting married. Um, but yeah, just talk about the busy off season. But how do you maintain the fitness? because it's really a year-round thing isn't it yeah no I mean that's it's been that way for me since I was 10 years old mm -hmm. um, but not really I don't really take breaks in terms of my training um, but this year was definitely very different um, preparing for the wedding and then the wedding came like end of December so it was towards the end of the off season so a lot of my my bandwidth was really focused on that um, but to be honest with you I think like as now we're entering our marriage and everything it's kind of it's kind of freed me up a little bit mentally i feel like fresh maybe fresher than i usually do coming into this time of year um and that was partially because there were you know there were days in the off season where training wasn't necessarily the number one priority and um you know i think i think that's okay i still mm -hmm. got in my time and and work of course uh, i think that's that's just part of who i am like i'm not gonna let that go by the wayside but um it was nice to have some other things that were going on, exciting things as well. And transitioning into this coming season, you know, where do you see yourself fitting in with this group and this as a role? You just talked about, am I a veteran or not? <laughs> but um, wh yeah, where do you see your role with this team? And, and are there gonna be some tweaks to, you know, maybe you don't have to give away anything, but tactically like, you know, wh where do you see yourself playing with this group? Yeah, I mean, I think, my role on the field from a tactical perspective and as far as Bob is concerned is probably going to be pretty similar. I mean, I've played kind of a number of positions depending on what, what we're doing in the game as a team over the years. So I don't think that'll change. I think I'll, I'll be in the midfield who, who knows exactly where, but right. I'll be it's in always there. fluid, isn't it? Um, yeah. But as far as the group as a whole, I mean, I am one of the older guys one of the more experienced guys. And I think, um, you know, trying to take on a little bit more of a leadership role. Um, I think it was a little bit uncomfortable for me coming into the team halfway through last year right. um, and fitting back in. Um, but so far with this group of guys, I think we've we've gelled well in the first uh, couple weeks here. And I think I see myself hopefully stepping up and trying to lead some of these guys as they enter, enter into their careers. Not all of them are in that stage, but mm -hmm. definitely a fair chunk of them are. Um, yeah 
kind of starting out here. So just um, helping the team stay together and move through the season and progress and get better as we get into the later stages. You know, we went through a rough patch towards the end last year, and I think we'd like to uh, be stronger as the as the year is going on. So and last question I really want to ask you is about this facility. You know, you been you grew up here this is your hometown and it's just to see this come to fruition to be part of it and to see it really from the end of last season when I saw you and a couple other guys who uh, were here for the opening right. official opening ceremony right. I mean just to see where it's come I mean it's this is this is quite a facility isn't yeah. it I mean it's it's actually weird like so, a couple of days I've just been thinking like mm -hmm. I've played out on this field a number of times for a number of different reasons and most of the time there's not been a huge building right here so right. it feels a little bit different um, yeah. almost like you're at a completely new place but um, not and yeah I think it's just really special um, shows where uh, where the organization wants to go shows mm -hmm. where um, soccer in the area of the, the Pittsburgh area wants to go um, they were investing investing the money to to grow players to grow our pro team all of that um, it's really exciting and I think you know it's not something to take for granted because um, you know we've been we've been here for a long time without something like this and uh, I think that's kind of part of what's made this this club who it is um, you know, we don't need all of the frills, but right. uh, to take advantage of them, make the most of them, but maintain that kind of like blue collar identity that we have. So, all right, Robbie, plenty of time to talk more uh, shop about a lot of different yep. things. Maybe even have you on my podcast Absolutely, at some point for sure. But uh, thanks for your time today, and uh, good luck with the rest of the preseason. Thanks, Sean.